Well, we are at a water hole, probably the biggest water hole that we have out here. It is the beautiful Chitra Dam, and we have a magnificent view of one of my favorite birds of prey. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So that is an African fish eagle in perfect afternoon light, and it is sitting eye level with us, which is unusual. We don't normally get that sort of perspective on our eagles. Normally we're below them, and so we have a situation where we kind of look up at them. So to be at the same height as them is very cool. And this eagle just flew up there and landed. It was sitting actually on the dam wall itself. And it's now probably using that as a way to look for food. You'll find that they'll hunt at this time of the day. If you look at its neck area, there's no swollen crop, which would indicate that it's eaten. So in all likelihood, it hasn't actually fed during the day today. And so it might be looking for food. This is a time that they will hunt. I also see a couple of hippos that are out of the water that are walking around in the background. They've started to move. And there's a little baby that's playing by the looks of it with its mom. There we go. You can see there's a little tiny one just to the left there. Oh. You can that cool? So lots of games that is happening at the moment and you'll find the hippos it's also getting cooler now, so they're gonna start waking up and starting to move out and starting to get up to go and feed. So lots of them about and there we go, more playing. <laughs> And you'll find when they play like this, they'll porpoise all over the place, chase one another around. There'll be big mouths being opened from time to time. And it's all just fun and games. Those are mostly young hippos. It's almost like a little creche area. You've got three or four youngsters that are there with big adults. And then there's the rest of the pod, the side closest to us. Which are completely unperturbed by the fish eagle. And the fish eagle unperturbed by them as well. At the end of the day, they don't need to really worry about one another. Now, Rachel, you're wondering what the wingspan is of a fish eagle, and I can tell you now, I'm not 100% sure, but I shall give you two seconds, I will be able to tell you. It is 1.9 meters, so the wingspan is 1.9 meters, which would be in feet, would be about 8 feet, 7 feet, 7 feet, somewhere around there. Um, so quite a big wingspan, they're not the largest of the eagles that we get here, but still got quite big wings, and the reason why they don't have to have as big a wingspan as what you'd find with things like the Marshall Eagle or the Vultures is that they don't ride thermals and have to go as high as a lot of the other eagles. They tend to be hunting just above the water surface and so they kind of just come down and grab and they don't need as big a wings to catch thermals to get up to be able to spot prey from long, long sort of distances like the vultures or like I say Marshall Eagles or Crown Eagles or actually Crown Eagles have quite short wings as well in comparison to their body size. But the light on that fish eagle is perfect. You can see the browns and the darker sort of black trailing edges to the wing, and that bright yellow face, and the wind is blowing a crest at the moment. They generally don't have that crested head, but you can see the wind is fluffing those feathers and that's why they're ending up with that sort of crest developing. And I must say, Chitwa Dam at this time of the day is one of the most beautiful places to be. There's this gold light that gets cast across the dam itself. It's a pity that this afternoon is a little bit on the windy side, but generally you have lots of activity with the hippos, and you'll find that at this time of the day, sometimes you'll see elephants coming down to drink. There's a number of water buck that are all over the place, up on the open area to the left there, so they all started to come down. And the reason why they'll spend time in that open is because it's going to be much easier to see predators as we start going into the night now in this open section than it would be in the thicket so a lot of the animals are going to start coming down you can see some impalas in the background as well wouldn't be surprised if there's an odd water standing around i can also see a wildebeest right at the back which would be very difficult for craig to show you because of the aerials but there's also a wildebeest so a number of different species all hanging around the dam and that's why chitwa dam is just one of the best places to spend an afternoon particularly on hot afternoons if you come here just at sunset there's always tends to be quite a lot going on. And you can imagine for the animals, it must almost be like an oasis, particularly in the winter months, when there's this dry, barren landscape, and they come down to here, and there's this massive water, and there's some big trees that can provide shade on the open clearings. It's the perfect place for everyone, and for us too. And I'm quite impressed with our fish eagle. I would have thought our fish eagle might fly. There we go. How cool is that? Look, look. Is he going to land on the wall? He is. There we go. Well done, Craig. That was very good. Did you see the wings? Beautiful. That was very cool. Not every day you're going to get a fish eagle coming down like that. 
And I wonder what it's spotted there. I wonder if there's not something just on the edge of the water that it might come down and have a look at. I'm just going to get my binos out. Sometimes you'll find with fish eagles is that they were up that is a little bit too heavy for them. So if they've caught something like a catfish and the catfish is too big, then they drag it to the edge of the water. And it could be that another vehicle that was here just now came from that side and chased it off its kill. And that's why it's landed there again, because it seems to be looking down towards the edge of the water. I can't see anything with my binoculars, though. So, James, sorry, Dave, sorry, <laughs> no worries, Megan, don't worry, I also make, we also make mistakes from time to time, but Dave, um, their diet pretty much consists of fish, that's the sort of majority of what they'll eat, I have seen them take monitor lizards, um, I've even seen them with guinea fowl before, which is quite an odd one, but generally it would be fish, so they would target fish more than anything else, and in this sort of system that we're in, catfish are probably the easiest, catfish come up to breathe air from time to time, so you'll find in the water there's these swirls, and they spend a lot of time right on the surface, and it makes it a lot easier for the fish eagles to grab them. It's also a big meal. Some of the catfish in this particular waterhole will easily weigh 30, 40 pounds. So that's a big, big, big meal for a fish eagle. And they have to be a little bit careful, particularly in a dam like this, with Vlad and Boris that are around, because if it's one of those really large catfish, it actually becomes so heavy that they can't lift. They almost swim themselves back to shore to try and so they have to catch things that are a little bit smaller and generally the target sort of size for the fish eagles from what I've witnessed and, and being a Chitwa and watching these fish eagles hunt a lot they'll normally go after f fish that are around sort of 10 pounds now it sounds like gremlins are jumping on board as the wind is gusting and we're going to lose signal so let's go quickly across to Taylor who's still with her beautiful tenure <laughs> 